In this lecture, we'll go over a few large companies that are actively using Flask. The first company that we'll talk about is Pinterest. At the time of recording this video, Pinterest has been using Flask to serve their API for the last five years. An API engineer at Pinterest once publicly mentioned that Flask scales very well under load. Flask has helped them write dozens of well-tested API endpoints, and they are also deploying new versions of their API multiple times a day. As of January 2015, their API is responsible for serving 12 billion requests per day. The next company that we'll talk about is Twilio. Back in May 2015, they raised $100 million in funding, and at the time were valued to be a billion dollar company. They depend on Flask for their public and private APIs. They're also responsible for releasing the Flask RESTful package, which is a Flask extension to help create RESTful APIs. The last company I'll talk about is LinkedIn. They are a huge advocate of using Flask for their internal tools. Back in 2014, they gave a talk about their experience with Flask at PyCon. There's a lot more companies using Flask out in the wild, but I just wanted to highlight a few well-known sites that I know of who are using Flask based on what's publicly available on the internet. At this point, you know what Flask is, what types of sites you can build, and who's using Flask out in the wild. That wraps up this section, and I'll see you in the next one where we go over the demo application that we're going to build. I'll see you there.